What is a signal phrase? A signal phrase is something in which signal what is when you have an in-text citation and you want to tell the reader when you're going to have an in-text citation, when you're going to have uh, something in which you are citing the source. So signal phrase signals to the reader when the writer is going to suddenly have an in-text citation, when the writer wants to cite a source. And so there are many ways in which you can write an in-text citation. And so signal phrase number one, Dr. Fauci stated, the COVID vaccines are safe. And so here you have, you always, when you write an in-text citation in APA, you always have to have the author, the author's name, the date, and the page number. So as long as you have the author, the date, and the page number, then your uh, in-text citation is valid. Also, when you have APA verbs, you need to put it into the past tense. Another way to write a signal phrase is to go according to Dr. Fauci. So here you have the author's name, the date. COVID vaccines are safe. When you're doing a direct quote, you have to remember to have quotation marks. So as long as you have the author's name, the date, and the page number, then the in-text citation is valid. You can have the author, date, and page number. Dr. Fauci stated, and then you have to remember to put the comma after the verb, then quotation marks in between the um, in-text citation when you do a direct quote. So here, Dr. Fauci said, COVID-19 vaccines are safe. Signal phrase number three. So you can have COVID vaccines are safe, and then you have Dr. Fauci, the author's name, then you have the date, then you have the page number, and then you have quotation marks for a um, direct quote. Signal phrase number four. So Dr. Fauci, then you have the date, then you have Dr. Fauci stated. So this is just another way of saying uh, COVID-19 uh, vaccines are safe. So as long as you have the, the, the date, the, the author's name, the date, I mean the page number and the date. So all I did in all these different signal phrases is that I put the author's name and the page number in different order. Signal phrase five, COVID-19 vaccines are safe. Here you have, once again, you have uh, the author's name, Dr. Fauci, then you have the date, and then you have the page number. And so what other uh, signal phrase verbs can be used? So you can use uh, added, commented, pointed out. So instead of saying stated, 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 stated all the time, and so you could have uh, Dr. Fauci mentioned that uh, vaccine, the COVID-19 vaccines are safe. Or Dr. Fauci added that uh, COVID-19 vac vaccines are safe. Uh, Dr. Fauci reported that those vaccines are safe, endorsed, confirmed, agreed, supported, echoed, affirmed, emphasized, stressed. So Dr. Fauci stressed that uh, COVID-19 vaccines are safe. So all of these are different ways of saying stated. Now it's different if you disagree with the person. Okay, so that I'll give you a, uh, how you disagree, how you, how you write an in-text citation where you disagree with the person. But most of these verbs are other ways of saying stated. So here, Dr. Fauci acknowledged COVID-19 vaccines are safe. Dr. Fauci insisted COVID-19 vaccines are safe. Dr. Fauci pointed out, confirmed, emphasized. So all of these are different ways of saying stated. If you disagree with someone, 
you could say, refuted, denied, contradicted, critiqued, rejected, called into question, disputed, challenged, or negated. So Dr. Fauci refuted Trump's claim that you can drink Lysol to cure COVID-19. Dr. Fauci disagreed with Trump's claim that you can drink Lysol to cure COVID-19. Notice how I don't have any um, quotation marks because I wrote this as a paraphrase. So when you write something in a paraphrase where you're writing it in your own words, then you don't need quotation marks. Dr. Fauci rejected Trump's claim that you can drink Lysol to cure COVID-19. Dr. Uh, Fauci called into question Trump's claim that you can drink Lysol to cure COVID-19. So many different ways of saying disagree, refute, or deny. So if you yourself disagree with a claim, you could say Warren ignores, overlooks, oversimplifies, incorrectly assumes, uh, fails to, makes no attempt to, Warren's inter interpretation. So you could say that uh, Trump's interpretation of COVID-19 cures is incorrect. Trump fails to uh, look at the science about COVID-19. Trump makes no attempt to understand science. So when you disagree with something and you want to write it longer, you can use uh, ignores, oversimplifies, incorrectly assumes, fails to, makes no attempt to, and that sort of thing. Longer signal phrases to show you agree with a, a claim. Warren offered a, t a useful, timely, thorough, uh, presented uh, Warren's. So Fauci offered a useful, thorough, important suggestion that vaccines are safe. Fauci presented an effective counter argument to um, Trump's Lysol disinfectant that vaccines are safe. So when you want to argue a point, but you want to say it longer, but you agree with the point, this is what you would use. Conclusion, when you use signal phrases, you alert the reader to the fact that you are about to cite a source. Using different kinds of signal phrases adds variety and interest to your paper. Using different verbs also adds more flavor to your paper rather than saying state, state, states all the time or stated. When you use signal phrases in APA, the verbs are to be in the past tense. If you are using MLA, then the verbs are in the present tense. And then for more information about that, you can go to the OWL Purdue Online Library. So I hope that you enjoyed my presentation about signal phrases.